Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Gabby. Welcome to Catholic Central. Today, we're going to be talking about the Sacred Heart, a sign of God's infinite love and mercy. You might know it as that picture in Grandma's living room, the one where Jesus is like, brah. Bruh. Or that tattoo on the guy from that biker gang show. But what about the history of where this devotion came from? Chances are you've seen this image in more places than you realize. It goes back to a time of Viking invasions, the Norman Conquest, in other words, the 11th century. When Christians would meditate on Christ's five wounds from his crucifixion, they are one on each hand, one on each foot, and one in his side. After Jesus' resurrection, Thomas refused to believe that Christ had risen, unless he could physically touch Christ's wounds. Of course, thinking, there's no way this is ever going to happen. Gotta see it to believe it. But it did happen. And in the best gotcha moment in the gospel, Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. In 1353, Pope Innocent VI instituted a mass honoring the mystery of the Sacred Heart. Private devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus grew and was recognized as a feast in 1670, when French priest Father Jean Oudes celebrated the Mass of the Sacred Heart. Around that time, a nun named Sister Margaret Mary Alacoque had visions of Jesus where he talked about his love for humanity. And how he wanted this message of love and goodness spread, especially through an image of his flesh heart. Human flesh. Thank you for that, Nick. That's what it is, just to be clear. Jesus also asked for the faithful to receive him frequently in the Eucharist, especially on the first Friday of the month, and to spend an hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament. This is a devotion Catholics call Holy Hour. In a later vision, Jesus asked for the Feast of the Sacred Heart to be celebrated every year on the Friday after Corpus Christi, or the Feast of the Body and Blood of Christ. Because the church is slower than a sloth learning to crawl, it took almost 200 years to officially establish the feast and approve the apparition. Hey now, being careful about people who say they have visions takes its time. Although the delay might be one reason for Jesus's bra face. Bruh. Well, Pope Pius IX did declare it a feast day in 1856. When we look at images of the Sacred Heart, we can join St. Thomas in saying, my Lord and my God, and think about his sacrifice for us. Jesus' heart remains open to us, despite our questions and doubts. As Pope St. John Paul II said, in the sacred heart, every treasure of wisdom and knowledge is hidden. In that divine heart beats God's infinite love for everyone, for each of us individually. The sacred heart reminds us of God's infinite love and mercy. On images of the Sacred Heart, you might see the phrase, Jesus, I trust in you. This can be repeated once or many times in a meditative way. Either way, it reminds us to have confidence in God's plan for our lives and trust in Jesus' love. If you liked this episode, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. For Catholic Central, I'm Nick. And I'm Gabby. See you next time.